Hey, hey what's up, James? Hey, uh, I'm doing Your okay. last question tonight. Um, awesome, thank you. Um, so I'm going back to the search of the occupants, and um, I guess at the very end of the original show. Um, so the way that we do it is I'm in Mississippi. So if uh, you have reasonable suspicion to believe that, you know, reasonable suspicion, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, a canine comes, alerts on a vehicle, it alerts, and we allow a search of all of the passengers of the vehicle. So um, what do you think about that? Wait, wait, you're saying that wait, wait, we, we talked about this. You're saying that I know yeah. you're in Mississippi. What, what yeah. county in Mississippi, by the way? Uh, Harrison. OK, so. Um, I teach I, I teach a decent amount uh, in Mississippi, and right. um, you have a, lot, have a lot of great people. Have you been to one of my classes over there, or Zach? Yep, yep. We've okay. had one. It was years ago, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. By Bubba. Um, it was actually in Lafayette. I think in like oh 20, Lafayette. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Look. So here's the deal. Yeah. You, your your dog alerts on the vehicle. Right. And are the passengers in the car or outside the car? Um, they're outside. Okay. And so are, are we looking to just alert and then just start searching those?
I need to do is I need to start harping on focusing on the behaviors of everybody, not just the driver. Yes, absolutely. You know, and look, I have a, I have a report writing class and my report writing class is all about, about articulation. This is the, this is the missing piece. I'm telling you, your cops, you and your, your fellow peers are typically doing the right thing. You, you are searching passengers and you know, your intuition is getting to the right place. But when right. you go to court, and you're saying, Your Honor, the, all I have is a dog learning in a car. And hell, they're not even in the car, Your Honor. They're outside the car. And they're and they're right. passengers. And there's right. nothing else. You should lose that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you putting it into words like makes it makes more sense. You know what I mean? So yeah. So that's what I'm gonna start uh, you know, working on with my with my guys is articulating not just the driver, but everybody else in the vehicle. Yes. Now right. um James, can I give you something before you leave? So yeah, I have a, a, the report writing class is online. Can I give you access to that? Just so you can. Hey, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think you, I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi. Oh, and nice. I think the recently came or you or one of your people recently came to Biloxi. And uh, like, I, I mean, I, I, I've given my guys your uh, like your books, you know, so that they, you know, they can like oh, reference yeah. Is a really good reference guides or whatever for me, but uh, yeah, absolutely. No, man, you, well, you had me at hello. Hey, Rick, <laughs> do, do me a favor. Just email Richard at blue to gold.com. He'll put the, you see the chat. It's right there. Yes. Yeah. And he will give you access to the on-demand version to the, uh, to the report writing class. And that will help you in, you know, and, you know, talk to your friends about this. There, there's an acronym in there. It's called nerds. It's the best thing I can come up with because right. quite frankly, people like Zach and I are just nerds and we can't get away from it. It's nervousness, evasiveness, Reactions, that consistent instance, deception, specifics about them or the environment. These are the things we're looking for. That's the nexus. Those are the top five things and, and so forth. Um, James, yep. you're awesome. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, yeah. Really think you added a lot to the to the show. Um, right. Now, now beat it.